All right, so welcome everybody back. Let's go now for the mission Bridge Over the River Kwai. Always in very hard difficulty. June 1942. Japanese expansion in the Pacific continues. The Allied prisoners, numbering tens of thousands, are directed to prison camps where they are forced into slave labor. The most inhumane conditions. Many perish. Victims of beatings, starvation, epidemics. In Thailand, the prisoners from one of these camps are pressed into the construction of the Tamagam Bridge, which will complete the vital railway link to Burma, allowing for the supplies to the interior department. Its opening is ready for the 17th of June, with a special train from the Japanese High Command running along the whole railway line, ending with the crossing of the Tamagam Bridge, a bridge over the river Kwai. Soldier, behind you. You've come to save us at last. Easy, fella. One'll hear us. Well, the fact is, we've come to blow up the bridge. But once we've blown the bridge to smithereens, our chances of rescuing you all will be greatly improved. Do you know where we can find explosives? Well, th there is some dynamite, and it's even attached to a basic detonator. It's in one of the huts. I don't know if it will do the job, though. It's, it's a very strong bridge. Are there any weak points? I don't know. The only person who would is the Colonel, but he's in solitary confinement. No problem. We can cross the river and get him out of there. Be careful. There are crocodiles and piranhas in the river. We lost a lot of good men in this river. Really good men. <laughs> the only living thing they won't eat are the elephants. Thanks, soldier. It's best you get back to work so that we don't arouse suspicion. I wish you men good luck. Alright, and I guess that is it for the introduction of the mission. So let's go through the objectives first. Rescue Guinness, that is gonna be the captain. Is inside this uh, sealed area over here. Let me quickly show you. Opposite side of the river right there lots of eyes overlooking him so it's not gonna be easy to rescue him obtain the explosives which are in this building over here once again let me quickly show you where that is that will be that building all the way over here right right next to the terrain tracks let's see if we got anything else now the other thing is actually a clue, cross the river on an elephant. Uh, just in case you guys are interested in that, I'm not going to be using it, but just in case somebody wants to know, you can only mount the elephant by using the thief. And you're going to see the thief is the only one who can get on him, the other guys can't. And once you get on him, do not try to click to uh, guide him. You can use the arrow keys, all the WASD keys to guide him. Alright, for now though, the game is giving me this team. The Diver, the Green Bearer, the Driver, and the Thief. Let's go. Thankfully for me, the uh, the Diver is all I'm going to need, probably. He's my favorite character in this game, and I believe I can do the entire mission just by using him. Nobody else. Let's see how that goes. Let's actually do a hard save right at the start. Just in case anything goes horribly wrong, which tends to happen. <laughs> and let me turn down the music a bit. It's a bit too loud. All right, now let's take care of this guy as soon as he turns around. All in all, it's not a very difficult level. It's what I would call a very methodical one. I don't even, even gonna pick up bullets. I don't think I'll need them. What I am gonna need is probably some cigarettes. 
We get closer to this guy. He doesn't turn the corner. Yes. That's gonna make things a bit easier. I'm going. Quickly pick him up before anybody else looks this way. Although I believe these are the only guys that can trouble me. I'll show you why in a sec. Let's drop this body first. Always check the bodies. I am looking for a body that has cigarettes. That's gonna uncomplicate matters a lot. So these guys are kind of a pain right now. Because they are uh, doing sort of a patrol, but... If I quickly run up to him and punch him, nobody will ever know. I'll show you why. Seems weird. But this guy is very focused in his vision. Like he only looks straight ahead. And this guy does not turn around unless the other guy comes to uh, relieve him of his post. So, it's pretty easy if you're fast. On the case. You can actually have a very easy time with these guys here. I'm going. Yeah, that was a mistake. Let's do that again. <laughs> I shouldn't have run to him because he heard my footsteps. Mm -hmm. Was a bit more anxious than I should have been there. For now, I'm gonna try and stash all the bodies over here, maybe. I could dump them in the water, but there are some watchful eyes. So be mindful of that as well. These guys are not soldiers, by the way. These guys are friendlies. Right, so, uh... Let's be mindful of this person, maybe. I'm going. I don't think anybody here has cigarettes yet. No, no. Unfortunately not. I'll quickly go back and check this body. Maybe this guy has. I should probably turn down the music a bit. Hold on. It's getting a bit too loud. Alright, sounds a bit better. Let's see, no cigarettes. Officers usually carry cigarettes. That's why I was uh, going to check. Alright, let's do another hard save now that we cleared the first area in the stage. Yeah. Now, at this point, I would like to have had some cigarettes. So maybe, let's see, is there a guy in here? This guy looks like he's smoking. Let's see if that is true. I'm going. Ah! Mm -hmm. And indeed, we are in luck. Some cigarettes. Excellent. Cigarettes always uncomplicate matters. At least in my playthroughs. Uh -huh. And now, let's just go ahead and methodically dispose of everybody else. Going. Oh, that guy is interested. Very well. And it is going to be his downfall. Oh, somebody yeah. saw me though. Let's see if we can escape this. Mm -hmm. Alright, some uh, attacks of opportunity there. Why not? <laughs> Obviously, I didn't plan for this, but. Yeah, you know, if something comes your way, don't be too anxious about it. Do not panic. Just see if you can salvage the situation instead of, uh, you know, quick reloading. That guy is a friendly, so do not worry about him. They do like, look like the enemy soldiers sometimes, and it kind of makes things look bad when they're running towards you, but they are friendlies. All right, now let's see. What are we dealing with? We have a guy over here. He's kind of a sneaky one. I think he turns around. And if that's true, he might see these guys. Yeah. He actually does not see them, which is very nice. Which means I could just throw the cigarettes over here. I'm going. I'm going. Casually punch everybody. Mm -hmm. 
I'm actually gonna hide him in here just to be on the safe side. You never know who's gonna come out looking. Five fully qualified. I tend to kill everybody in my playthroughs just because I do not want the Germans to find them and wake them up if something goes wrong. I think there is a uh, sort of a star system, star rating at the end of the level, which gets higher if you do not kill all these guys. But yeah, to be honest with you, I, I want to show you how to end this mission. I do not really care about that right now. Uh, let's see. Now, I cannot open this by myself because this is a box that has an X on it. Which means I need the thief. Let's see if anybody looks here. I don't think so. All right, now it's open. Oh, the thief has some cigarettes. Okay, interesting note. The thief already has some cigarettes. I didn't realize that. Hold on, I'm gonna take that though. Well, he can have a second pack, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Let's uh, bring the thief back to our camp. And I will take that bottle. The reason being you Ideally, you want to have both a bottle and a cigarette pack. Cigarettes attract most of the guys, most of the enemies, but sometimes officers do only get attracted by uh, bottles. Like if somebody is already smoking some cigarettes, he obviously will not be attracted to them anymore. So you better have a bottle as well. Right, now, this is probably going to be a tricky part. I'm going to throw cigarettes to this guy, but I don't see any way for him to come this way so he probably will come from inside the house yes. see what happens he actually doesn't even see okay. them interesting maybe I just have to throw them a bit further away On the case. yeah he sees them now and he probably is gonna come this way so I need to kill him before he sees me, or right after. I'm going. Like that. Do not uh, be afraid to be a bit risky with some of the moves. Usually get you through the game much faster anyway. Alright, now this guy does not look... Yeah, he's not protected by anybody, so... I think we can just casually stroll up to him. Probably doesn't carry anything important, so I can just dump him inside. Let's quickly check the body. Now that we have access to the water, it's a lot e easier to hide the bodies inside here. Faster and uh, you never run into any danger of somebody discovering them. By the way, I will not be crossing the water. My general tactic for this level is to use the bridge. Maybe we should get rid of this guy. Never know when he might become uh, yeah. troubling for my plans. Mm -hmm. Let's put this here. I don't think anybody else watches this spot. Yeah, we should be fine. Just remember to keep your distance when throwing the cigarettes. As the enemies close in, that uh, dark green cone of vision is probably going to miss you in a moment. if you play this right. Always remember to pick up the cigarettes as well. Now it's closer to stash him over here, so that's what I'm gonna do. By the way, also check, quickly check if they have any valuables. Like for some, for a uh, for example, you can take the bullets, maybe. If you get into a hairy situation, they want to have a, a lot of bullets, which is usually the case. Like, if you mess up, it is more than likely that you're going to get stuck inside a house and going to have to defend yourself for quite a while. And until the enemies run out, it is to your best interest to have enough ammo, is what I'm getting at. All right, now here comes probably the trickiest part. Most people I've seen try to cross the river. I try to work my way up here, which is very difficult, because you're going to see, ignore this guy, he is down. The other guys, though, are upstairs. 
up on this hill. Now, the most troubling guy is this one. He patrols around. This guy doesn't matter. This guy can see some things, but not too much. So you better avoid his gaze. If you like. And we're gonna have to time our movements to do that. Yeah. Where I'm gonna go now. And until he turns around, I'll hopefully be fast enough. Stick to the edge, otherwise this guy will see you. And if you do that, you can even go behind him. Let's see. Or maybe I can even stand up now. Let's drop down, just in case. I'm gonna wait for this guy, or I might even bait him to come towards me. Let's see. And maybe let's throw some cigarettes over here. Yeah, let's un uncomplicate matters really quickly now. I'm going. Punch him instead of knifing him because he's very close to the other guy. Always remember that punching guys I'm going. makes less sound than outright killing them. All right now, don't believe anybody's watching this guy's back. I love, that, by the way, how casual the uh, POWs here just continue to work amidst all the death and destruction <laughs> that I'm causing. Alright, now this is a tricky situation. This guy is looking away, so you'd think this guy is easy to take out. But did you see how that POW just uh, gets into him, kind of bumps him, and he might turn around? Look at this. He bumps him, so he turns around for a while. So you have to be fairly fast in taking out the body so watch when the pow come back comes back you have to be ready to drop down if you're very close to him now thankfully we didn't even need to care about him we are fine just be mindful when you see the pow coming towards this guy I'm going. and now they all run away because this was the last uh German or Japanese guy actually in the area. That's why these guys are running away, by the way. When you kill everybody in the area. Well, there's no reason for them to work anymore, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe take the bullets. That's it. Uh, let's see, there's another guy here. Yes, does anybody watch? Oh, somebody is watching him though. I'm going. So let's see, maybe, what does this guy not see? He actually sees almost everything, interesting. Is he on a smoke break, I wonder? Or should I attract his attention, maybe? Let's get him as uh, close to the edge as we can. Two birds, one stone, excellent. On the case. Retrieve our equipment quickly. Hold on. Let's take this guy because he's right on the edge there. That could be dangerous. He could be potentially spotted from below if you leave him that close to the edge. In a moment. Did I kill this guy? No, I didn't. Let's quickly do that. Man, I must come across as very cold-blooded <laughs> in this game. On the case. And another pack of cigarettes. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we are amassing quite the arsenal here. It's not even gonna be necessary, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, now, good time for a hard save. All right, now, now let's try and get across the bridge. There's one guy here, and I believe, yeah, he can actually be seen. In a moment. Which is interesting, let's see. I'm going. I'm gonna try to take him out. See if that guy down there can truly see him. Or if it's just, you know, 
kind of a glitch. Because he's not very close to the ledge. He's a bit further back. This guy might have a better view at him. Or I could attract this guy with cigarettes if he can actually see this far. In a moment. Let's quick save and see how this goes. I'm gonna try a few different things if we fail. I'm going. <laughs> he actually doesn't see him. Alright, so now I wanna be careful to pick up just the knife, not the body. Alright, let's see. Although I actually would have liked to dispose of this body. Let me check if that guy can actually see me, even if I pick up the body. He actually cannot. Very nice. Oh, that guy can though. Hold on. Let's not be that uh, exposed. Probably just gonna have to wait for this guy to do his rounds. Yeah, that is uh, a bit too ambitious from me. Maybe now. Right, and the reason I'm dragging the body away is I'm probably gonna bait a few more guys to come running towards the bridge, you know, with the cigarettes and stuff. So I do not want to have any bodies in the way that will distract the Germans. I want them to go to the cigarettes, not to the body. And I definitely do not want them to be aware of our presence here. Is that a sniper bullet? Interesting. Too bad we don't have a sniper available in this mission. Although, as I told you, the diver is my favorite kind of guy. I think I'm gonna be just fine just using him, maybe the entirety of the mission. Let's leave that guy, these guys down B there for a while. Let's see what the situation is here like. Now, this is interesting. We have two guys almost in the same spot. She's not making matters very easy. Let's see what this guy sees. He actually sees over here, right on the edge. If that is true, that we might use that sort of advantage very easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he is actually there. So let's put as much distance as we can from the cigarettes. I'm going. Hopefully I'm far enough so he doesn't see me. Excellent. I'm going. <laughs> I get to the knife and the cigarettes. We'll see about the body. Maybe I don't even need to get the body anymore. Like this guy, I don't believe anybody is watching his back. Yeah, should be should be just a case of timing my movements now. There's another guy who doesn't really look anywhere. Over here. There's a guy here that I need to be careful about, but he doesn't definitely doesn't see that far. Right, let's go as close as we can. And I'm gonna stand up and run up to him, maybe. Oh, he actually saw that. That was not good. So we need to be a bit faster. Maybe I'm gonna hide here and wait for him to come back. In a moment. Yeah, let's just uh, stay here for a while. This is a friendly guy. He will not tell on us in time soon. How about this guy? Time fully qualified. All right, let's uh, stash him over here. Hopefully nobody sees him. That guy is kind of moving around, making me a bit nervous. Yes. And they are actually switching positions. Interesting. Is that the guy who stands over here? I'm if that's going. the case, we can take him out. I'm going. Easily, I hope. Let's bring him a bit here because I'm worried that this guy can see him, maybe. Yes. It's quite close. Yes. All right, these guys are fairly unprotected, as you can see. Nobody really cares about them, I guess. <laughs> On the okay, maybe I'll get your bullets. 
that is enough ammo collecting, I think. Now, let's get in here. That's where the bomb is. We need to enter this place and get the bomb. Yes, there are no enemies in here, as you can see. So you casually just walk up to the closet and get the explosives. And the bonus if you want. Might even get some uh, Molotov cocktails for your friend, the driver. He's the only one who can use.